Hello all, my name is Krish Naik and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, today in this particular video, we are going to see how we can create an easiest way to create a readme file for your GitHub profile. Now, why this is important? Because I understand nowadays GitHub profile plays an important role, right? And in data science, definitely to get a job in a data science, you also have to put, have to put your GitHub link in the resume. And if in that GitHub link you have uploaded some many number of projects, you really need to pro provide some information regarding that particular project. And if I show you one example, suppose if I go into this particular project, this project is basically done as a product development in iNeuron, which is called as Pose with Action, right? And if you go and see the readme file over here, all this information, see with images, with all the outcomes, description, data set, all the information is getting displayed over here. Now, suppose if this is my project in my GitHub profile and if I put up this GitHub link in my GitHub profile, obviously the recruiter when he sees it, he'll, he or she will be able to understand what you have actually done in your project itself, right? And most of the time I get a question from subscriber, Krish, how to create this efficient readme file, right? We used to do before, we used to do manually, we used to write each and every statements over here. And one of the example is over here, you can see that I've just opened this readme file and here you can see all the information. But now there is an amazing website which is called as readme.so from where you can definitely create a readme file in an efficient way. Again guys, this is really to make your GitHub profile pretty much more interesting. The recruiter will definitely get an idea like what kind of projects you have actually done just by seeing your GitHub profile. And always remember guys, readme file in if you are actually preparing through this, all the structure is actually given. So you will definitely be able to create in an amazing way. So let's get started and let's see. So I'll just go and click on get started. So first thing on the left hand side here, you can see there is something like title and description. So here you can basically write your project title. Suppose I want to write a project name called as food recommendation using machine learning. So this is my project. Okay, so using machine learning, see how, how easy it is and automatically everything is written over there. I'll just make this as small. And then here you can write the brief introduction about your project. See, this is by default given. Then you want to go and write with respect to any kind of acknowledgement from where you have actually referred, research papers, everything as such. So here you can actually write. So this will basically give you entire information regarding acknowledgement. On the right hand side, you can see how your GitHub profile will look like used by support tech what tech you have actually uh, used suppose in this particular text tag i'll just move a little bit side so here you can see client react redux node express everything right and there is also sections like api references so here you'll be able to see all the api references suppose if i go and click appendix authors badge color reference there are so many different different options demo here you can definitely just put your gif link that's it you just have to put like suppose over here uh, if you really want to show any kind of demo you know what you will do is that you'll just record a video you'll convert that into gif and just upload your link over here that's it and automatically you'll be able to see everything will be available on the right hand side over here and this definitely and this is all in the proper structure if you want to pu go push up and down that also you can actually do so definitely previously and many people who are actually starting right they usually take a lot of time to update this because we have seen because in iNeuron also uh, we uh, take up a lot of internships you know and when they do product development most of the time they actually take in order to update the readme file but this will definitely be helpful see there is also deployment you know what is the deployment process you can actually use what kind of command you can actually use everything it will be basically in the bash format suppose i say something like this so let me just copy the same thing okay and i'll just say okay first of all first step is basically just to write pip install pip install minus r requirements dot txt and usually we basically create something like this automatically it'll get created right so this is done so here you can see how it will get updated Now i'll just go to documentation deployment so here you can actually see pip install minus r requirement dot txt i hope you are able to see it okay uh, let me select some other things now you'll be able to see it definitely see this pip install minus r requirement dot txt right very very simple guys. see all things will be in order if you want to add an image you can add it one of the section will be there if you want to uh, put a github profile about you you can also add that Suppose I want to put this, this, everything. So here it is. See over here by default, I am Catherine, everything is coming. And again, you can order it. You can order it somewhere here. 
in the starting or anywhere usually github profile part uh, we should put in the last it is always good right so this is just like ordering right whatever ordering you want to do you can definitely do so so comfortable so easy for everyone so definitely you should try it out there is screenshot screenshot option is also there by default one screenshot is put up over here you can see let me show you one screenshot so here it is app screenshot you just have to use one link and just put it over here that's it right now you can do this right now after everything is getting completed now usually in machine learning project how do you create a github profile sorry how do you create a readme file first of all you go with respect to this information only one by one title description acknowledgement uh, whatever is the api references author scholar reference contributing and you can place up and down based on your requirement after everything is done suppose this is the final thing that i really want to use just download this now here you can see the file is downloaded and this readme file you can now upload it in whichever project you are actually working because at the end of the day this is the same file readme.md okay so you can upload it over here and in the next second you'll be able to see something like this that's it that easy now it has actually become trust me usually a lot of time used to take place earlier now i'm able to do it very much quickly this is pretty much amazing right so uh, this was it from my side guys i hope you like it just uh, make sure that you use this whenever you are creating a github profile and it is very very important because this will definitely give you uh, give the recruiter an amazing experience to know more about you what kind of your work you have actually done so this was it guys i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one doll bye bye